let's talk about deployment. And I want to look at a diagram here to just give us a high level overview and truly understand what we're trying to do. Now, up until now, in this course, we've learned about front end code, back end code, about databases. But now that we have to put something online, not just on our computers, but to the whole world, how do we go about actually deploying something to production properly so that our apps can become real businesses? Well, let's review what we know. We know that we can write front end code. That is, we use HTML for text, we use CSS for the visuals, and we use JavaScript to create logic and add behavior to our front end apps. With our SmartBrain app, we used Create React app that allowed us to use JavaScript to manipulate the DOM, HTML, to add different information on the screen and use CSS to style the app. So we have those files. Then we learned about Node.js. We used Node and Express to create our server. And what does the server do? Well, the server allows us to interact with our front end. So whenever a user logs in or a user submits a picture, our JavaScript code on the front end, our React app, is going to send an HTTP request to our server, to our Node app. Hey, the user just signed in. Hey, the user just submitted an image. And our Node server either logs us into our app or sends the image information to clarify, to get the response back and then send it to the front end. And we also created our database, right? We needed a place to persist our information. If a user comes back after five days, we need to have a way for us to store that information, for them to sign in with their password and email. And we couldn't just leave that on our node server because if the node server ever crashed or turned off or stopped, well, that information would be gone. We needed a database to store that information and to access that information in an efficient way. So we've created these three things ourselves, our front end code, our backend code, and we also wrote some SQL statements to create our database so that we can connect using the connects library to our database and use those commands to store information into our Postgres server. But here's the thing. How do we deploy these things? I mean, up until now, we saw GitHub pages, right? We're able to put our websites such as our startup landing page on GitHub pages for free. And GitHub pages allowed us to just simply serve the HTML and CSS and JavaScript code. We also saw how to deploy our React apps using Create React App. We had to have a bit more configuration with React to serve our JavaScript, HTML, and CSS files. But we're able to deploy it. But our SmartBrain app now has more than just front end code. It has server code, it has database code. So how do we deploy that? And this is what this section is all about. What we're going to do is, well, we're going to use Heroku to have another server. And this is what you'll see in most apps. You'll usually have your server code, that is your backend code like Node on a computer dedicated as the server. And you can use things like Heroku. You can use AWS, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, DigitalOcean, Linode. There's lots of services out there that essentially give you computers. Remember, a server is simply a computer. And we put our Node files on this computer. We run the Node file. And the server is going to be running the entire time, just waiting, waiting to hear from the outside world until somebody pings us, makes an HTTP request, and we do something with it. So we're going to deploy our node code to Heroku. And Heroku is going to give us for free a computer somewhere in the world that we can put our node.js files to, our backend code, and it's going to wait for us to be able to ping it whenever we want. 
Now, we could leave our front end code, our smart brain app on GitHub pages. That totally works. But we're also going to put our front end code on another Heroku server as well, just to practice, just to show you how it works, even though you could leave it on GitHub pages. And then finally, we're also going to show you how to create a database, not just on your computer. Remember, for production and deployment, our goal is to move our code from our computers to computers that are dedicated to just being alive, staying alive so that whenever users go on our app, whether it's three o'clock in the morning, whether it's midnight, they can always access the app. We don't have to keep our computers turned on. And on Heroku, we're also going to create a dedicated database. Now, a database is, again, just like a server, is just a computer. But usually when you deploy, you want a dedicated database server that focuses on just running the database software. In our case, our Postgres software is gonna be running on a Heroku server. So Heroku is gonna provide all three of these things for us. But I use Heroku just because it's a simple one to use, but you can do different things. You can have your database on Amazon's AWS. You can have your front end code on GitHub pages. You can have your node server on Heroku or DigitalOcean. When it comes to production and deployment, it's a whole nother ball game. It's usually called DevOps. And where you wanna deploy things is really dependent on the situation. But I hope this diagram makes it pretty easy to understand. All we're doing is moving the code we just wrote from our computers to dedicated computers that are going to make sure our code is always gonna be running so that anybody in the world can access our Smart Brain app wherever they are and whatever time it is. Let's get into it.